if it's an obstacle of faith, if it's the outcome of faith, I'm going to give you my answer to that eventually as to which of those three is the proper one. Not today. <laughs> but we get this done. So we all own, we all have possessions, right? How many of you own anything? Oh, James, you blew it, man. You blew it. Yes. <laughs> we don't own anything. We are stewards. An owner uh, says, this is mine to do with what I want, however I want. Uh, a steward manages for someone else. Everything we have comes from the hand of God. You cannot get around that in biblical teaching. Everything we have comes from the hand of God. In the Old Testament, that's what Israel was told. God would provide, but everything they had was his. That was the, the fundamental premise behind the entire approach to land management in the Old Testament. Who owned the land? God owned the land. It was distributed to the tribes, it was distributed to the clans, it was distributed to the individuals, but God owned the land. It was his land. And they were there to take care of it for him, and then he demonstrated his blessings on it, which is the warning that he gave to Israel before they crossed the Jordan River. When you go into this good and plenteous land that I am giving to you, a land flowing with milk and honey, and you live in houses you did not build, and you eat from gardens and vineyards that you didn't plant, and you enjoy the goodness of the land that is not because you brought it about, do not, once you are full and satisfied, sit back and say, by my strength and by my power have I done this. Amen. That was the warning that, that uh, Joshua gave the people. Don't say, look what I did, because you didn't do it. So everything we have is stewardship. Now, we talked about using the word now colloquially. You know, we have stuff. We own stuff in the, in the, in the common parlance. Now, why do we have stuff? What's the point of it? What's the purpose of it? Share. We have it so we can share with others. Enjoyment. Security. Wait a minute. To share with others. What'd you say, Sharon? Oh. Actually, it was me. Oh, pardon. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the right answer is well, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Listen, 25 years of running heavy equipment, I wore your plugs. Okay. It still doesn't you. matter, all right? Yeah, or shall I say I was deaf before I did that? So. What's another reason we have stuff? Security. Security. Heritage. Well, presumably we're going to, good stewardship is honoring God with the stuff, yeah. Comfort? Okay. Any others? That'll get us started. Good enough to get us started. Now, you know, everybody says, pretty much every Christian at least says, well, I want one time or another, well, I did this or I didn't do this because I want to be a good steward. Right? How can you argue with that? Some people said they'd give the veteran 20 bucks on the side of the road as they drove by because they wanted to be a good steward. Some people said, I wouldn't give the guy 20 bucks because I want to be a good steward. So the question is, what are the principles of good stewardship? Okay, how do we know when we're being good stewards? And how do we know when, when something meets the criteria of good stewardship and something meets the criteria of poor stewardship? Fair question, right? Mm -hmm. That's ultimately the question that we all have to answer. What are the principles that come into play when we talk about stewardship? So, I would say that one of the things is to get these in the right priority, right order of importance. 
right? Because I shouldn't be doing something for my own enjoyment if I'm not meeting the needs of my family, sort of thing. I think most people would agree with that. So, let us take these reasons that we have stuff and prioritize them. What's the number one reason? If you had this list, what would be number one? Need. <coughs> needs. Now, how do we go about determining needs? Food, shelter. Dirt, paper. <laughs> we all have needs, right? Can't live buck naked in the woods, at least for very long in the mosquito season. You know, <laughs> All right, so we need some clothes, we need some food, we need some shelter. We all have needs. Most of us, I would argue, have met those basic needs and gone beyond it. How do you determine when something is a need? Do I need to provide a college, pay for college education for my kids? It depends on what. What day you get asked and what the pressure is. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to have a cell phone? No. Well, I don't know. I run a business. But people get hold of me. Landline. <laughs> <laughs> If they really need the wood themselves, they'll find out how to get hold of me. Is that right? Carrier pigeon. Smoke signal. Smoke signal. <laughs> how do we go about determining what our needs are? Does it, you need it to exist. Okay. Or do you need it just because it's a pleasure? Do I need it to exist? Man, that, that starts to whittle it down, you know. MREs will keep me alive. Yeah. But I much prefer Shelly's cooking. <laughs> so, yeah, I was going to say, as do you, <laughs> Well, one is the identification of needs. Okay, so I, everybody agrees that that's number one on the priority list. What's number two? Census, if that's the number two priority. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to do this because it's the right answer. But what we really want to say is this, and then that. Yeah. That's what we talk about needs. I mean, do you need indoor plumbing? Uh yes. Nice. <laughs> I mean, you know, how are you going to define that? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So then how do we, how do we, you know, what does that look like? How do we know what does sharing with others look like? If that's the number two priority of, of the use of my stuff, <laughs> how do I know when, I, when it's appropriate to share with someone else? By their need. Their need. Even if you have a need, your need might be less than someone else's need. You might have a half a box of Wheaties and they might only have an eighth of a box and ten kids. Okay, yeah. I feel like a lot of sharing with others also has to do with your spiritual gifts. Like for mine, I have a talent for music, and um, God has given me that to reach out to others. Sure. Yeah, we haven't talked about the dimension of time yet. We're just talking about this in the context of, of uh, the stuff, tangible things. We can talk about the time. How many hours does everybody have this coming week? Presuming that Jesus does not come back and you don't rock that of our how many hours does everybody in the room have? 168. Yes, sir. 168. How are you going to spend them? How many hours are you going to spend on Facebook? 
Oh, Different man. issue. <laughs> okay, so so number one reason we have stuff is me. Second is to share with others. What's third? We have a vote for security. I would say security. Oh, now you're nervous. <laughs> At some point, though, you have to show your identity. I don't know. Whoa. All right. <coughs> what you say about this, Dean? Come on, you, you, you're on the chopping block now, pal. <laughs> At some point, you have to show your identity because your identity allows you to share with others and to get people. <laughs> who a person is is their identity, and that's who they are. I ain't saying it's the most important thing, but I think it's... So what's way. number three of this list? What's number three? I think too many people get caught up in enjoyment and comfort and forget about security. And I'm not saying you should all become quarters of dollars and not and make life miserable now, but there is a point that if you're not saving for the future, or if you're just racking up debt on your credit card and just enjoying life, doing whatever you want, I think that's really a balance order. Showing a really unbalanced stewardship block. So I would vote for security. How many of you would vote for security is next? Makes you nervous when I say that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, it's a one. <laughs> I asked the questions, John. <laughs> All right, what's next? Uh, no, I can go by. I, I, you could differentiate those. I mean, you know. Indoor plumbing is comfortable. Um, enjoyment is my handgun collection or something, you know, bows or knitting or whatever you find your enjoyment in. So they're, they're, these, these two could be differentiated um, for that. So what's next? wanted to pick up Dean's cause and say identity? If I needed something, I wouldn't care who you were. You know, if you were willing to give something for me, to share with your who you if you were the king of England and you offered something to me that I needed with the identity wouldn't matter. becomes the question. Do I derive my identity? If I, if I lost all my stuff, would I still be the same person? Or would I be less of a person? Like that. So, huh. so, okay, so we've got needs, we've got sharing with others, we've got security, we've got comfort. What's next? Kenny, you're looking awful thoughtful back there. <laughs> you're not saying a thing, are you? I'm not thinking one bit. He's in his nothing box. He's got to his nothing box. <laughs> <laughs> so we got rid of this one. We got rid of that one. We got rid of that one. The security's gone. To me, the pirate is very helpful. 